Natalie Dupree here for postandcourier.com with my two ingredient cream biscuits. Now, just be sure you listen very carefully. They are made with only self-rising flour, self-rising flour. And get a nice southern one. Um, there are a number, Martha White, Southern Flower, White Lily, this is White Lily, and if they already have the self-rising ingredients right in them. Now, this is two, twice as much self-rising flour, so this is two cups, as heavy cream. So we have that all together, and the flour's in the bowl with the leavening already added, and then I'm just pouring in the cream and mushing it around until I get a nice wettish dough. Let me get the rest of it in there. And uh, then I'm going to take it out of here and plop it all goopy and gunked up just like that onto a one of these boards. These are the most wonderful thing. You get them at the grocery store. You can use a silk pat or anything, and you can do this on your counter as well, but in that case, flour your hands. And by the way, that's a, my favorite old biscuit bowl, but I have a number of them. I love biscuit bowls. And you know, it's wide across like that so that you're not mush, mush, mushing in the same place. So did you see, I just folded it over in half, and then I'm gonna fold it over in half again and press it out according to the thickness that I want. And how, how thick it is depends on how many biscuits you get. For uh, two cups of flour, if you cut it big, like I'm going to, you only get about four. But if you cut it in nice little ones, you'll get much more. So here's that, I folded it three times. There's a cutter. You always work from the outside in. And they are wet. You see, can you see that my hands are gushy? I like a small baking sheet. Don't use a large baking sheet because in a large baking sheet you have a lot of excess room and um, it just goes, you know, it doesn't get right to the biscuits. It just circulates around the pan. Okay, one, two, let's do three. And as it sits, it gets wetter. That's one of the things. So if, if you thought it was too dry, you could actually let it sit a little bit. So I'm going to move this into a little area that's floured. And these are scraps. Always be nice to your scraps. So take your scraps, layer them up just like you did. You, um, you're going to put layers in there just like you did when you were folding them. Fold it one more time and cut out the last one. There you are. Give them all a nice pat. Some people call that docking. I just call it patting. And there you are. Nice little biscuits. Cook them on the top rack at 450. If they brown too much on the bottom and you don't like the way they look on the bottom, the next time slide another pan underneath it that's exactly like it. And always be sure to turn your biscuits halfway, your pan halfway. Uh, when you're cooking in the oven. And I could even make more from the rest of these scraps, but I wanted to show you what they look like when they're done. There you are. I'm Natalie Dupree, here for postandcourier.com with two ingredient cream biscuits.